are you, Jay? Hey, Javier, ¿cómo estás, amigo? Muy bien, thank you for having us here now. We're here in Texas, outside San Antonio. And finally, I mean, one question that you've been asked for the past, what, 18 months, two years uh, almost? Yeah, like, almost two when's years. When's the ridge line coming? When's the ridge line? <laughs> it's coming. What can you tell me about it? I can't say anything. <laughs> but that has changed. Changed. So now we're here we are, driving in here uh, outside San Antonio. And we have driven it already. And uh, one of the things, the first thing, I guess, when we you drive it, I mean, it doesn't feel like we're in the truck. I no. mean, like from this way up, Sure. I mean, the, the drive is like so comfortable, quiet, yeah. and yeah. like you have all these amenities, and like yeah. these look like something else. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was the goal. People drive trucks 99% of the time on paved roads, right? Yeah. And uh, that was kind of our key development was to satisfy uh, the customer needs for basically what they use the car for. So the older model went from 2005 to 2015, right? And you basically had to stop production of that car. Yeah, 2015. Uh, 14. Yeah, we uh, basically, I mean, the car was uh, uh, getting old and uh, it's time for a refresh, so that's uh, good for us, you know, good timing for us to come out with this product today. And so that also gave you the opportunity to develop this like from zero, from a white sheet right. of paper yeah. to, and every, everything is new in this one. Everything is 100% brand new. You're right, white sheet of paper started about four years ago. Uh, listening to our dealers, listening to our customers, looking at how we could conquest, add additional business, and here's what we got. Although you kept a few of the features that were like so popular with right. our, like especially the trunk in the back in the bed back there. Right. So items like the dual action tailgate, uh, the the in bed uh, trunk storage uh, in the bed. I mean these are Honda exclusives due yeah. to our unibody structure uh, that we're able. Obviously the the, the the tailgate is not, but the, the under storage is obviously a unibody uh, advantage. Uh, the tailgate was. Uh, Again, a strong selling point, very easy for customers to put stuff in the back. It's Honda engineering. Right? Yeah. So uh, for people, I mean, obviously the, the word the unibody tells a lot about it, explains mm -hmm. by itself, but mm -hmm. for people who maybe don't know the difference between uh, body on frame against unibody yeah. and what makes, like what we were talking at the beginning, like the extremely comfortable ride, quietness and all that. Yeah. Can you explain what are the main difference of, of that? Yeah, I mean, technically speaking, unibody, uh, it, it, it's characterized as a car chassis. And if you were, for example, to hit this corner, you could do this corner at a higher rate of speed and uh, you don't feel it. I mean, it feels like you're in a passenger vehicle, yeah. but however, you know, we're at nine inches of ground clearance almost uh, you could go up this field you could take it off road uh, you could you know the the, the strength of, of the chassis is, is just so much stronger and you're able to do things in this vehicle that you couldn't do in traditional pickups pickup truck with a body on frame it's basically what it is so yeah, body it's on, a, a it's frame. A body so on a frame so when you're right? moving it it's goes side I mean it yeah, moves it a lot more it than bends, this. right right it bends and, and then the, ours is one you know solid structure uh, and, and it's stronger Right? It's, it's better, it's a lot, you know, it's more efficient. Uh, you can do more things with it. We have a lower ground, uh, you know, for, for our feet and, and uh, riding position is more comfortable. Drivability is more comfortable. Everything is better, right? Yeah. So again, staying in the, in the, in the cargo area back mm -hmm. there, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much flat. I mean, yes, like, uh -huh. it, but it has, it has grown too, right? Like four more inches? Yeah, got four more inches. So you could put, for example, a sheet of plywood, a four by eight plywood flat. Uh, which you know nobody at the segment could really do that. Uh, we took it four inches wider and four inches longer than the outgoing model, and so. But overall, exterior-wise, I mean, you don't it doesn't appear to be bigger. Uh, we just uh, were able to make our packaging more efficient in this. Car. Yeah, and the other amazing feature in the back is like the audio system, which. Yeah. When, I, 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 when they presented yesterday, yes. I mean, that's where the speakers are. So there's no the speakers. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's actually exciters. There's two on each panel, so a total of six. And it basically uses the bed as the cone, as the, as the speaker. So you can load it up with mulch, and it still sounds the same. That's incredible. Right. I mean, like that's like talking about engineering. Yeah. I mean, that's really, really an amazing thing. Uh -huh. So let's come back into the cabin now. I mean, as, as you can see, we have the seated, seats folded up, uh -huh. which is a great feature that yeah. I think, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe it started with cars like the Fit and the Element in the yeah. past, and now yeah. we're in here, and it's really convenient to have because you can yeah. do a lot with that space. Yep, yeah, so basically what you're referring to is the Magic Seat in the Fit and HRV. Um, 
a little bit different in this product, obviously, um, but uh, same technology, same thinking behind it. Uh, if you lift these seats up, look, I mean, you have plenty of storage here. Yeah. Uh, and again, it, it all still, it all goes back to the unibody chassis, the unibody um, construction. Um, we're able to get low cargo floor in here because of the unibody um, technology. So we don't have, a, you know, transfer. You know, it's a, just a lot of space, right? Okay, and uh, now let's talk about technology and mm -hmm. being uh, the most modern car from Honda, mm -hmm. I, I guess it has like all the other right. technology that is in other cars and like maybe you, a few years ago, you didn't expect to have in, in a pickup truck. Right, so items such as like uh, the display audio unit, uh, this one is an RTLT, RT, RTLE trim, so you have the Honda Sensing. No, you know, Honda Sensing, that, that suite of technologies is not a suite of technologies usually found in pickups. Uh, but at Honda, uh, of course, we have it. Uh, the display audio, look at the nice screen over there in the yeah. center. Tells you very the, clear, very nice. And nice. look at that, it's, we're getting 24 and a half miles per Oh, I almost got 25 uh, coming in, so, uh, so you know, maybe I'll even surprise you with okay. that. <laughs> so, look, I mean, we're getting 25 miles per gallon. It's an all-wheel drive. Uh, vehicle, so I mean, just that's unheard of, right? Yeah. Uh, but you were mentioned about electronics. First uh, mid-size pickup truck with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality, uh, and then again, you're you're driving now, so. But uh, yeah, like there right go. there, one the of the sensors, sensors went, yep. went off. I like flag. so. Yep. I mean, you really, really <laughs> would have to do a lot of things wrong to have an accident yep. in this car, right? <laughs> knock on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Knock, knock on. on soft, uh, yeah. yeah. Knock on. Find a piece of wood somewhere. Oh, boy, right here. Right here. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so. Uh, you mentioned that we mentioned the, the, the mileage. Uh, what's the engine and the, the transmission and all of that? Sure, engine's uh, the 3.5 liter direct injected, 280 horsepower. Um, fastest zero to 60 in the segment. Um, so pick up speed if you want to hammer it. There might be a car coming, but uh, feel free to go. There you go. It's a Honda six speed transmission. Wow, yeah. You got a right nice pull in the yeah, Don't even worry about braking. You got this corner easily. Very yeah. easily, no problem. That's You're gonna great. leave this corner thinking you wishing you would have gone faster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, and then uh, right. finally, uh, yeah, see, look at the drivability. No, I mean, right? I mean, uh, we already experienced it. We drove here like <laughs> 60 miles from San Antonio to this uh, lake, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, really, we we commented about how quiet and how comfortable it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could drive this car, this truck, for hours and hours, and you wouldn't be feeling tired when you leave so mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty incredible mm -hmm. so let's go now go out uh, to talk a little bit about the, the exterior design which uh, the previous generation like was a little bit of controversy some people like it like mm -hmm. anything else mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so what has changed uh, out there so uh, more traditional truck style and it's really funny when we clinic customers just the appearance of it looking like a truck uh, the consumer perception is that it could do more. Uh, as far as towing, we've basically maintained 5,000 pounds, which was the same as the outgoing model. Uh, but the uh, overall perception is, is this is more trucky, right? Yeah. Just by the way it looks. So uh, we, have, we, you know, I guess when I say we improved on that, um, C pillar obviously has more of like a 95 degree angle as opposed to uh, kind of a, a, t a fin that came down. Uh, more traditional styling, but yep, if you look at the front end, more aerodynamic. I think it's a great, sleek looking, obviously. Absolutely, truck, yeah, right? like how all the Honda products have changed dramatically in design in the uh -huh. past year and the, all the other aspects too. So now we're here at, the, as we mentioned, like a lake. So we're gonna go and see a pretty cool demonstration about what you were talking about towing and sure. like getting things in and out. The, the boat ramp. The boat ramp. Yeah. So let's go and do that and uh, take advantage of the opportunity here. I used to have a boat and for me, I mean, this was before rear view cameras and all that kind of thing. So it's kind of difficult to me, I have to admit, to <laughs> maneuver that. I'm sure with this technology, yeah. the sensors and all that, it's gonna be much, much easier. Right, I think we're the only compact or uh, mid-size uh, pickup truck with the three mode camera. So you'll be able to get top down as well so you, as we could line up the, uh, the boat hitch. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And this experience also gives us an opportunity to test drive all the other things that Honda do. Like we're gonna probably tow up a Honda boat, right? I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, yes. Exactly. It's got a Honda engine. So, I think uh, that was one of our requirements. <laughs> Pretty cool. I mean, you can see at uh, 
with a lot of power to tow things. I mean, that's a big boat. Right? Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, this thing does everything that a traditional body on frame pickup could do, only more, right? So, I mean, again, going back to the, I mean, I, you, I get, I, you, you had an event like the Honda Dream Garage, mm -hmm. and then we went there last year. We were, yeah. So we saw motorcycles, uh -huh. quads, a lot of equipment, yeah. and, and all that. So now you have to upgrade it because this is the yeah. new addition to yeah, the Dream right. Garage, right? Yep. So this basically holds all of our products together, kind of like the glue that keeps all the rocks, right? All the clay, and there, um, you know, we have ATVs. You can haul around your ATVs. You have a Honda bike. You can haul around your Honda bike. Generator. Haul around your generator. I don't know if it'll tow the Honda jet. But I was gonna ask about the Honda jet, but I'm, I'm glad you brought it maybe. up. So, maybe. So maybe. I don't, I don't know. I, don't think, I think it's a little more than five thousand. Well, pounds, you can drive with your Ridgeline to your Honda jet. You could do that. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Well, James, thank you very much. And I know I did. Uh, you did the transition from being the product planner for this car, mm -hmm. and now you're in another role at Honda, right? Yeah, so I'm starting next chapter in public relations. So hopefully I'll be seeing you again at all our events. Not just that, that would right? be great, that yeah. would be great. And maybe we can do that Honda Jet event soon with this one. Absolutely, <laughs> there we go. Thank you. All right, thank you, Javier.